I would say anybody trying to work on their fitness. Let's start that. My, my hand-eye coordination is horrible, but I caught it, so. My name is Michael Quiat. I've been coming here for a year. Uh, I actually found it through the Restore Physical Therapy in the building. Um, I've been lifting for about 15 years, and the last five had developed back pain, like to the point where I would try to work through it. I watched all the YouTube videos. I watched all the fitness experts. Uh, talking about how to fix it and it just one it reached the point where it was just debilitating like laying on the couch for five minutes I couldn't stand up so I called the restore physical therapy came in he coached me through some stuff and then after I had spent some time with him it was starting to feel better but still needed some work because like I said I've been doing it wrong for probably about a decade so not gonna undo that in three months and so he referred me over here with uh, Michael and them and uh, I've been working with Pat a bunch to work on and now like I can just deadlift so much more I can like weightlifting has always been really important to me and uh, I was terrified when I came in to restore that uh, they were going to tell me I was done lifting and uh, having been able to work with the people here uh, it's been fantastic to be able to get back into lifting and try to get back to where I was before the back pain started. Just the euphoria of like, okay, like, yeah, maybe I could heal a little bit faster if I stopped lifting and like took it that slow. But the fact that they worked with me in terms of like, especially during the pandemic and everything, lifting was such a release from being trapped inside the house. And like, so it was, I was struggling to lift and then coming here, being able to actually like, they set up programs so like I could lift, I could work on my deficiencies while still being able to enjoy the stuff uh, that I enjoy. As silly as it sounds being as old as I am, I, I, before my back pain started, I'd always wanted to deadlift 500 pounds. And uh, that's probably why I hurt myself is because I chased it so hard. Like I think at my top, I got to like 465. So like I'm only at like 315 right now here, but it's pain free. And like as little as a year and a half ago, lifting 135 off the ground would be, I'd be laying on the ground for like an hour trying to w work out the kink in my back. So I'm really trying to, before I get too old that it's not safe anymore, I'm really trying to get up to that 500. And like, there, like the nice thing about working out here is like, we work towards it, but we work towards it safely and like doing all the other stuff to support that as opposed to like when I was, even like you watch a video on YouTube and it tells you to brace your core, but like, I don't know, at least me personally, I thought I was bracing it. I wasn't bracing it. I found that out once I came here and they showed me how to. So stuff like that, like just really building it back up and just seeing how high I can take it safely. It was one of those things where like you watch, you watch the videos like, so for example, just you go online you say, how do I deadlift? And they go, all right, keep your back flat, you know, get down at this angle, brace your core, pull through your glutes. And it's like in the moment, especially when you're chasing the heavier weights, like you're like, yeah, I'm bracing my core, I'm pushing out and whatever. And then it's like, just having come here where Pat will like, he'll push where you're like, if you're bracing, it's supposed to be bracing somewhere. And so he'll give you that feedback so you can be like, oh, that I wasn't bracing. I was literally just pushing my stomach out. And that doesn't like solidify your core, which lets you lift all that weight without bending anything or hurting anything. I think people who enjoy lifting, who want to lift safely, like I really think there's value in having somebody tell you how to do something properly. Like I think in today's day and age with the internet, everybody likes to think like, oh, I can do my own research and I can figure out how to do this. And it's like, but there's just certain things and especially something like your physical health that's so important. Like when I wasn't able to get off a couch, it was depressing. Like it was incredibly like terrifying to think like, oh, for the next, you know, 40 years of my life, I'm not gonna be able to bend over and pick something up. And I thought I was doing everything properly and to find out I wasn't so, I would say like, I know I see a lot of athletes here who are definitely getting a lot better. I know uh, Pat and I have joked that he's trying to turn me into an athlete. He has me doing stuff that like, I suppose if I played sports in college, I'd be doing. Um, but yeah, people that wanna really get healthy, and I think strong, like I think there's a lot of value in getting stronger and like really working on your physical fitness.